let's, let's look at a uh, baseline too wide in order superscalar. Uh, that's a mouthful to say. So difference than the pipelines we've seen before, we have two ALUs. It's a big difference. We can execute two integer ops at the same time in this pipe. Um, drawn here, we're going to actually differentiate these two pipes. We're going to call this pipeline A and this pipeline B. And pipeline A, let's say, can do integer ops and branches. And pipeline B can do integer ops and memory access. But you can't, you can't do memory up here and you can't do branches down there. That's, there's nothing fundamental. We're just going to look at it, this sort of basic example here to have two asymmetric pipelines. An important, important point of this, uh, first, is that compared to our five-stage you know, MIPS processor, is that we have to be able to fetch two instructions at the same time. If we're going to want to actually be able to execute two things, we need to somehow get that out of the instruction cache or the instruction memory. Hmm. OK, well, that's interesting. So the program counter is going to sort of go in here. And instead of getting one instruction out, we actually get two to go in these two different instruction registers. We also need to add more ports to our register file. Instead of um, in our basic pipeline that we had talked about earlier, we had only two read ports. You gave two different addresses, and it outputted two registers. Now, because we have two different instructions going at the same time, we actually have to pull out four different read ports or four different read registers at the same time. And if we want to be able to retire or uh, commit instructions two at a time, we need to add more write ports. So I, I show the register file here sort of split into two. But the register file is kind of, it's, it's together, but logically, I just drew it apart so you could actually make heads and tails of the drawing. Um, so that's, that's something interesting to think about is you have to, to worry about that. OK, so the first question I have here, um, is this good enough? Is this pipeline diagram good enough in, let's say, the fetch stage? We stick some addresses in, we get two instructions out. So that's a good question. Is do we do PC and PC plus four? So let's say we can. There's some logic here which can pull out uh, PC and PC plus four at the same time because we're executing two instructions. Um, so so roughly, you know, we need to worry about alignment issues here. We need to worry about uh, branches in let's say the first instruction in that we pull out of the two instructions. In this next part here, um, our pipes are not symmetric, so. Is this, is this good enough? So what happens if the first instruction that comes out here is a load? So instruction IR0 here, the instruction register, gets loaded with the bits from the load. What, what happens downstream here? Can the load happen here? Ugh. Yeah, that's a problem. So. We're starting to go to the superscalar here. We need to start thinking about having, let's we'll flip back and forth here and take a look at this. You need something here that can take an instruction that sh show up here and route all the operand values down over here. <clears throat> Largely, a lot of times people call this issue logic or instruction steering logic. So you have to sort of steer the operands. And you're gonna be, you can basically swap the two, operand, uh, the two uh, instructions that are going down the pipe at the same time. <clears throat> OK, so, so that's, that's, that's uh, interesting. And this, this is, uh, could actually cost uh, some time to do this. So this might motivate us to have longer pipelines. And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, another thing you have to do is on the control side is you have to actually start thinking about duplicating control. Uh, so here, we actually have to have two decoders because we're decoding two instructions at the same time. So the instruction register wires up to decode A, and this instruction register wires up to decode B. And then they're going to drive signals down across the respective A and B data paths. So that's um, something not drawn here is you may also, if, it, if you have to interchange uh, the sort of instruction register 0 to the B pipe, you might have to, you're definitely going to have some you know, communication or some uh, swapping of the instruction inputs here. So that's, that's, that's uh, sort of the baseline two-way uh, processor.